Hello YouTube and welcome into the start of a brand new Let's Play for Civilization 6. I am the game mechanic here with you as always and today we are playing Harald Norway um, who is a strong coastal civ with some religious synergies and that is how I would prefer to play him with some extra faith and specifically the Earth Goddess Pantheon. We have one breathtaking tile so far in our cap here um, which is pretty reasonable. It's probably just a settle in place. We get the uh, the river settle and the coast. There's no great harbor here. But we can do a basic triangle like here, perhaps. Um, we'll kind of see what happens. But let's go ahead and settle on turn one. It's a pretty strong opening yield. We get 2-2 two, two base and a 2-3 tile. We get to expand into silk, uh, which seems pretty good. Possible campus here. Possible campus over there. We'll see it. We'll see it. Um, I do think I want to scout now with this. I'm going to get free culture from the silk. Uh, and it looks like there's enough land to justify it. Commercial hub on the river? No. Nope, 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 nope. Hopefully find a wonder. And hopefully find a spot to put a holy site. I do want a religion. Oh. Okay. Well, that leaves us limited on the land department. But it does give us, hopefully, faith per turn. Yep. So, Laventa is nice. Trigger the Eureka for craftsmanship. And uh, Colossal Heads. Colossal Heads are actually pretty good with us. Because we do have a, a reason to leave woods around. Um, they give you two faith. And then one faith for every two adjacent rainforests. Um... Oh, it's rainforest. It's not just woods. No, it is woods. Yeah. Plus one faith for every two adjacent woods, um, or for every adjacent wood once humanism is discovered, and then tourism from faith later on. Um, so that's pretty good, and we start with our faith per turn, so Earth Goddess doesn't look phenomenal here. We have one, two tiles for it, but it will give us free faith in our city base uh, once we grab it, So, and we're grabbing it for free. Do I try to go around Laventa? Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. So hopefully we just find like another city down to, down here. I am going to sneak this vision. Yeah, I just wanted to know. I wanted to know what this looked like. We're, we're getting a scout, so <clears throat> we can hopefully find a warrior, uh, barb camp or something with the warrior. That's an Earth Goddess tile. It's too close here. I wish I could, like... The problem is I'm going to want to keep him around because I am going to build holy sites in this game. I don't really want to kill him. So we're exploring with both our Settler Lens and our Appeal Lens for scouting purposes. Because <clears throat> you really want to build your cities around your Pantheon with Earth Goddess. Um, so two turns we can start a Settler. I don't really know where it's going. I might even have to settle off water over here. We'll see. What victory type? Don't know yet. I don't have sailing built like... So in order for my capital to get a holy site, we probably need to get bronze working first. So I need my second city to be able to get up an instant holy site. So I'm going to put two turns in the monument and then switch to a settler and hopefully find a spot for it. And hopefully find a, uh, a wonder for the Eureka. And Kumasi's here as well. Trade routes to any city state provide you two culture and one gold for each specialty district in the origin city. That is quite good. And there should be a spot for me to settle in between these guys. So that'll be good. I can also get a city up here, but this one's more likely to have a holy site for me. There are there are clear tiles versus I need to chop all these. So we have grown now. Let's switch to a settler. 
And one turn till this grows, and then we'll be working both those tiles. That's fine. Plus, we get some extra culture here, so our borders should expand very quickly. Well, there is technically a spot in between them, but it is not coastal. Maybe our scout can find a better home. Not a lot of woods for our um, stave churches. One, two, so they're perfectly spaced to where I can't get a city here. I could technically settle off water here and drop in an aqueduct. But boy, does that feel bad. I'm going to head this way. I'm just going to look for greener pastures. All right, we're getting our pantheon already, so I shouldn't have to worry about God King. We can put in urban planning right away. I do have one scout. I would like a level on it, and I haven't found barbs yet, so we'll run survey for a bit. I really need to get to maritime industries to help us build our longships. Um, am I going here? Is, is there any chance our next city is going up north here? Some pretty good campuses. What up, B2? How you doing, bud? I don't think so. So I'm just going to stay on the coast. There's our foreign trade boost. Very nice. Um, and we can head up here to another continent. Potentially. It's a good campus right there as well. Somewhat low on appeal, but not too bad. We'll be able to, f we'll be able to fix it up, I think. Seven girls were chased by bears. All right. The bears were just about to catch them when the girl got our wonder. On a low rock. One of the girls prayed to the rock. Rock, take pity on us. Rock, save us. The rock heard them and began to grow upwards, pushing the girls higher and higher. So faith and production on tiles around this guy. Now I need to find a place where I can settle it. Because this is a bunch of terrible, like not, can't, not even aqueductable land. Like, technically this, but then you have all this desert. It's kind of weird. What's up, Co? Is it Violet? I've never done it. This is nice. Um, so we have extra faith and extra culture so far. So one of the things that can really hold you back in a in a game where you're trying to do what I'm trying to do here is uh, is culture. It is not that life. So it's rather nice that we've gotten what we've gotten. There's a coast. High appeal around the wonder as well. With potentially a holy site there. Here, we'll see. That's probably where our city's coming down. We won't get the air score for settling it, though, unless I can figure out a closer settle. Nothing like walking through a couple volcanoes. Wow, that's triple volcano right there. This Petra looks kind of kind of good. Kind of good. You cannot aqueduct off a wonder, no. It's not an actual mountain. A lot of those just say appears as a mountain. Your second album was Triple Volcano. Lol. All right, I got to scout this to see if it's worthy. I 
It's not phenomenal. At least we're alone. So far. Moment of truth. Nice. So we get Earth Goddess. Um, and I really like this Pantheon. Um, especially on coastal like naval games now. Because there's such inherent appeal with coast um, reefs. Things like that. Um, and this is such a nice source of free faith. So we're going to go ahead and take it. Even though it's not phenomenal at the moment. We will be able to uh, fix up our land and make it better, I believe. Uh, we get some free faith right away here, which is good. Um, and if I, if I were to buy that tile, we'd actually have some there as well. Um, although I don't think I'm doing that. So this... So the odd uh, forest here... And this is part of why Norway synergizes well with Faith and Earth Goddess so freaking well. Is that normally this sec this third forest doesn't do anything for us. Um, but in our case, it increases the appeal, appeal of surrounding tiles. And once we get the Stave Church, this holy site will be next to two for a major for a, for a standard adjacency. Standard adjacency here. So it's only plus two. But then once you get the stave church, you also get one, two, three uh, as well. So this be this goes from any any other sieve, this is a plus two holy site. And with us, it's plus five. Um, and it also has the uh, extra appeal all around. So that is pretty decent. Speaking of appeal. This, if we were to put a uh, holy site here, starts off as plus two and then becomes plus six is pretty good this is only plus one but then becomes plus three so good enough and sometimes you want to do that if, if it's enough to increase the appeal around you like if i put this holy site instead of this one we increase the appeal of this tile and get to utilize it more effectively and so you want to do that math now what you don't get to do with earth goddess is double your um output with with policies so sometimes you want to give up a little adjacency bonus for it, and sometimes you don't. All right, somebody's up there. I'm hoping another city-state. Well, Not going to cook it, but I'll order it from Zanzibar. The first meat as well. Wow. Three really juicy first meats. Purple, yellow, and white. Train of Viking longship, train of Viking longship, and craftsmanship. What do, you, what do you mean you don't get to double it with policies? So the so when you run something like so when you run something like scripture, you get to double your adjacency bonus. And so I'm advocating for sometimes you might want to give up some adjacency bonus to improve the appeal of land because holy sites give positive appeal. But you want to be aware that like this is only a plus three holy site as opposed to a plus five holy site. And and that plus five gets doubled. So if I'm adding in four or more, um, four or more faith, then then it's actually better to do it this way. Otherwise, you probably want to take the uh, higher adjacency yield, straight up. All right. So with no first meet, I could go up here and hunt for goody huts since no one's first met them. And I guess I should have another scout, which is a little odd. Got a little bit of money. We got our settler done. I mean, one way or another, it's coming down this way, roughly. This is probably fine. There's enough production here to make it worth it. Probably not fitting a city in between, though, which is really, really awkward. I mean, we could settle this. What if I just pulled an AI and just settled the wonder? So holy sites only increase appeal by one, so you only benefit plus two per tile if you're going to increase it to breathtaking. That's correct. That is correct. I think we'll start by just heading that way. Again, uh, settlers have pretty good vision. So there might be a better spot. And and frankly, it might just be like right here, right? This is within range of this. But I want to make sure that we're getting this amber tile and whatnot as well. So settling off this might make sense as well. Off uh, And by this, I mean the water. I'm going to go look for some goody huts and maybe some future cities. 
I love you, Ko. Thank you so much. That's nice of you to say. All right. So let's switch into production for our longships. Um, and then there's production there. We're already good on faith, so that's fine. And then we're going to go ahead and get a couple of these guys out while we continue to grow back to two here. Um, and I also need to be aware that they're going to get tiles. I guess I don't care what tile Zanzibar gets because they're too far away to matter right now. Leventa expanding is fine because I'm never going to get that silk. And Kumasi expanding is fine because their tiles are bad. No goody heads. Kumasi could expand towards my stone? Here? No, they won't do that. It doesn't work that way. They don't even consider the third ring. Interesting. What if I settle this? Get to start with a crazy good faith tile. We'll eventually get an aqueduct. We can get them some housing in the meantime. Farms here. This is a plus one holy site that improves to plus two. That's not super good. Maybe that's better. No, we're still on the same map. Interesting that I'm considering an off water settle. Now, sometimes that's a big deal because loyalty, that's fortunately not the case for us. Just wanted to make sure there was nothing there. Um. So they expanded to this tile, and they expanded to that tile. We get to start exploring like crazy, which is cool. Problem is this city's going to have a really hard time growing. I think I'm just going to come settle this. I think it's slightly better. And then I can I can do this later, but I need I need to get to like I need to get to 6 citizens. Yeah, I could wait till I have aqueducts to settle this. It's actually a plus three holy site. With the aqueduct. And then we make a holy site there. Uh, this is only charming appeal. So that's only two. This is two. Oops. Just click. I mean, the other option is just to settle this coastally. If 
I settle it coastally, I do pick up this. Like, they kind of grab all of this land. Start with a faith tile. Start with a bad tile here. I'd have to buy out to this. Or this. And then we miss the amber. If we wanted, we could get this and then get that. I still, th I think I like the Aqueduct City more. Is that crazy? Just because the, the initial tile quality of these three tiles is so good and everything in between is so flat. Um, we might do a city over here eventually regardless um, because there are some nice 2-2 tiles and some interesting options. And I just start that faith like right away. Now the problem is this holy site kind of sucks. So I still think I want to bring this guy down, settle this right away, and either build that plus two holy site that becomes a plus uh, plus six, or or build one of these other ones. And I guess that all of those decisions are largely going to be based on appeal. And I guess with this desert, since desert is low appeal, we should be looking at putting this holy site in. Too slow for religion down here. I mean, it's not a great city. Yeah, you know what's weird? I think I'm going to settle this. I also want the era score for it. I'm just going to go for it. It was a lot of deliberation, but I think we needed to. We needed to deliberate. So there's a city up here, too. Don't know where yet. We'll, we'll figure it out. So normally you want to scout like around um, your continent because you're going to run into deep water. It's not as big of a concern with Norway um, just because, or and, and particularly on these maps, because you're much more likely to find little little islands and continents to, to, to go uh, settle, which is good. See how you bring light in. Yeah, we, we have another turn before we have to settle there, so that makes sense. We get an envoy, so we could get Suzerain for Era score. I think this is fine. So only one of two housing, and we get to start with these guys. I actually prefer the Faith tile, believe it or not. Um, and instead of starting with a monument here, actually, I could buy them a builder in eight turns. Maybe start with the monument, get them um, cattle and a farm. That way they can get up to three pop work, both of these effectively. Also get this. I also just kind of want this now. I think I'll buy the builder. Start with this. Actually, starting with a holy site in two turns. Speaking of which, nobody on profits yet? That's good. Hello, Akkad. Corey's lower appeal, correct. Need a first meet emote? You could probably just use this one. Either the high or the diplo. Yeah, I know. And that's part of part of buying the builder too, is is um Leventa actually wants craftsmanship. I got my two. I could. I could certainly justify going for more long ships, especially since we already have culture. I can't really start a holy site here. I'd like to. Could I could build a trader actually?
and I'm hard teching early empire because we didn't pick this settle. I think we're in trouble. You know what I mean? Like we're not going to get to the uh, six citizens. And so we might as well power through that and then crank out some settlers later. Probably going Magnus first because I don't have amazing growth here yet. I think if I had a if I had a way through here, I'd be more incentivized to get another long ship or two. Currently, this guy's going to circumnavigate this way. This dude's going to go up and around. I, the third one could go this way, I suppose. That's probably good, actually. I'm going to get one more. We have so much production towards it. And they can get us goody huts. They can get us all kinds of things. So I think it makes sense. I'm going to go down. So, there's something to be said for getting a plus three, but it's blocking three faith, because this is Earth Goddess already, and it's blocking three faith, versus this is, is getting plus one. In the long run, it's going to be plus three anyways, which is all you really need. I mean, you want as much as possible, uh, but it's also going to add in faith onto this tile. Um, it's going to add in two more faith, so I think the way we're doing it now makes sense, plus we don't have to buy a tile for it. Um, hold on. Appeal wise, that's three. That's two. So either way, we're only improving one tile, and I'm more likely to work this tile. So let's let's just do it how we planned. I was just considering flip flopping it to make this better, but nah. Do you need to start a religion with a strategy? I think so because because you want stave churches, you're going to be incentivized to uh, to to get them for your for for massive faith, um, and because you're going to be getting a shrine and a temple in every city anyways, uh, getting choral music makes a lot of sense to get six extra culture. Um. Not really, Bayer. Not not really. Not I, I need to make more guide tutorial type content. I've known that forever. Um but I other than like just particular good game through like playthroughs on YouTube and stuff, I'm not sure what to recommend. Actually chat might be a better source than me. Because I don't actually watch my own content content. Alright, so we have two choices here. Um, normally I think I'd be all about going right for shipbuilding. It allows our galleys to go over deep water and it allows all of our land units to embark to expand. Um, but we have several places to go already. Um, now I, obviously this could dry up pretty quick if we meet somebody. But I think what I want to do is go get the ability to chop our rainforest. Um, it's either that or go after irrigation. I don't really have a farm to get the Eureka at the moment. So I think... I think I'm going to be interested in bronze working the most. Now, I don't have any barbs yet, which is interesting. I'm not going to be able to grab that, so let's just keep exploring. Uh, they can't attack the barbs themselves. They can raid. They can take an empty... They can take an empty uh, barb camp, but they can't actually kill the barbs. They're not a ranged unit. Conquer a cod with long ships. It's not a terrible idea. These are earth goddess. Um, this would actually be a pretty awesome um, mausoleum city. Like, wow. One, two, three, four, five, six so far. Maybe more up here. Six or seven seems reasonable for Mausoleum. Nice. We can get a city up there soon. Um, all right. I like finishing the monument and then probably grabbing a trader in the cap here. And they look less good now. Petra worthy maybe. But we have tons of desert so far. There we go. There's one we can take. Might be an okay city down here, too, although not a lot of woods. Thank you, Dwarfs. I appreciate that. But I, I, I could stand to do both, right? Probably. I know, right, Siv? 
This is, I mean, how long did it take us to find this, though, right? We'll, we'll go in and around Zanzibar. Movement-wise, that seems efficient. There are the barbs. I knew there were going to be them somewhere. And that's fine. We want that Eureka anyhow. I'm glad I got this other long ship. Just figuring out that I want a coastal city here is nice. Somewhere in there. Somewhere in there. Check great people points. So far, so good. Holy desert. Hey, there's a scout. It's going to go this way. Yeah, like tons of desert. We can get Petra any number of places. Barb camp up all the way up there. Can't really deal with that. There's another one. Certainly settle up here. Um, it is on our current continent, but there is some incentive to do that. And then we want to get cities over here on this other continent as well. There's marble that we're seeing. Um, there's marble that we're seeing. <laughs> That's about it so far. Nice. Hopefully we can grab that. We can. Nice, nice, nice. Gulp. Oh, man. So awkward. I feel weird. Hey, Jackal. Happy Friday, buddy. How are you? How's your week going? How's the new TFT content? I still haven't tried it yet. Hey, Duncan. I know that luxuries are continent specific, but bonus re are bonus resources also that way? No. No, bonus resources can be found on any continent. Hi, Barbs. I thought I'd find some more of you. Twenty more faith. I do want the ability to embark very soon, though. We're going to want to time that with the start of the next era for sure. You're not hitting me. Why are you not hitting me? My man. I speak okay, he's pretty far away, though. So that's interesting. And, he, and maybe if he has some nice coastals, we'll be able to take him. <laughs> it would be really fun for me if we could, like... Build up an early, build up some early steam, early faith gen, get the Grandmaster Chapel, war in the mid game, and then like finish off the game with aircraft carriers. That'd be fun. That would be fun. Oh, that's good, Toaster. Much more variability based on the elements. Nice. I like that. It looks, it looks super fun. That's awesome, Abba. I didn't see that. Okay, so that is his cap. Okay. I do want to sneak a peek there, and then I want you to come over this way. Um. 
Um, have I settled a resource? No. No. Somebody has started their profit points. That is a little bit troubling. I don't want to get stuck here if they close their borders. So I'm just going to push through. Hopefully make it over here. Here's our money for our builder. If I fortify, does it kill me? It might. No, I had the uh, shipbuilding policy in. No, we're, we're off to a good start now, Stan. I forgot what goodie hut. This one? Oh, crap, I did. <laughs> good. I just needed to wait for it to turn into a relic, so I'll go back and get it now. If I've been following Pantheon MMO at all, coded a stream yesterday with the dev showing off some stuff. I didn't get to catch that. I did want to see his VOD or YouTube of that uh, because, yeah, I'm super interested in Pantheon. Is that are we doing that? We could do that. Uh, I already have one friend who's interested in playing. I would. I, I'm. I'm very interested in playing Pantheon. Yes. Oh, I can't do this yet. I can do farms. That's a little awkward. I can improve this quarry, um, but then it's going to take the faith away from this once we get there. Sign you up? Yes! Their next expand is probably the pearls, which this city wants. All right, that guy has to chill for a second then. It's still probably how I wanted to spend that money. Not the best terrain. So I will want Magnus, as stated, uh, we, we will have some growth issues in our cap until we can chop out all that jungle. Um, and so I want to be able to chop out that jungle efficiently with Magnus, but then also hold on to the, um, <clears throat> hold on to the yields. What class did I main in EQ and or what class would you want to play in Panth? No, it's all right. You're fine. Um, I might, back in the day when I played EQ, like back in, you know, 1999, as it were. Um, I played a cleric. And in Project 1999, which I've played in recent years, um, my main is a shaman with their epic and a monk as well. I also have an enchanter, <laughs> which was my first character on Project 1999. All right, so what's our plan? We can go right into Settlers. You think mechanic that allowed trading tiles in the borders during peace treaty agreements? That's an interesting idea, although I think that might be a little complicated. No, I'm not building more ships. We, we want discipline for sure. Um, but the question is, do I keep urban planning in and have our have our cap do other things? Like, maybe get a builder for the deer. And then get over here, get ready to chop that out. Put 
Because what is our cap building? They can't do their holy site yet. It could technically do Stonehenge. <sighs> yeah, the Shadowrun games are great. They're super fun. I think we're still looking at next year pounded. I think I want to get some settlers going, although it's gonna make it it's gonna make it happen too fast. 96 Charlie Conway. Nice. This is a mighty ducks reference for the ages. Welcome in. Thank you for the host. I appreciate that. I think I power through this. I'm not gonna get the craftsmanship boost. And I think I'm okay with that. I want to go right to political philosophy, I think. No, I know. Stonehenge just needs stone. I'm aware of that. I could go for it, but I, I think the AI will take it. We'll lose an envoy. That's a good point, actually. All right. So maybe then I, I, I do go with the builder. Because we can actually go towards mysticism now. And potentially get Oracle. Oracle would be fantastic to grab. So we're running this and this. Is our archery boost? That's actually quite nice. Craftsmanship is, a, is an envoy because Laventa wants it. Oh, okay. Sorry, Jerezy. My bad. Could use some science. That's an icky little island. Hopefully there's more, more gooder stuff this way and that way. Leventa probably takes the silk, is my guess. Um, I just want to, I just want to keep this in mind because that would hit one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. yeah, just three, I guess it's not great. I still might do something like that though. Yeah, Batman, that doesn't exist. All right, seven more era score needed. We're starting to wind down on that. We have ships. Uh, we could technically suzerain. And actually, suzerain's not a bad idea because we would get gold. This is where... Oh, no, we don't have districts, so it doesn't matter yet. Zanzibar will help, actually, with amenities here soon. But let's hold it for now. I could double suzerain, actually. And then we just need three more era score. This is one. Pog. <laughs> Alright, well. That works. The importance of having a golden age early is it it the that's the payoff for Earth Goddess. Uh the fact that we have some faith already, the more cities we settle, the more faith tiles we're gonna get with Earth Goddess. Um and getting monumentality right away is good. The other thing we can do with it is grab Exodus um and secure our religion. If we feel like that's uh, a risk. Because otherwise it's really hard to have any any amount of faith uh, to make monumentality that good early. So you're worried about not getting a religion. Somebody's, somebody's working on it. We'll also have a good amount of faith to faith buy it, maybe. I wish we could meet a scientific city-state or have some extra science right now. I 
We actually want this guy to go this way. We're not going to find anything else down here. We'll try to sneak through this way some somehow. Somehow, some way. Yeah, no, I need a ship on this side. I mean, that's true. This guy could have circled around and gone that way. It's a good point. I think we'll come settle this area soon. Hello, Rick. Yeah, there may we may not be able to to go there. That is true. All right. Some nice inland cities here. Not the way I thought I'd be playing Norway, but I'm not complaining. Five turns. Okay, this is all going to time out pretty well. I can't do much with this guy with the slinger coming. Chop out Stonehenge. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> but it's but it's the map we deserve, Atlas. He's down there. Okay. We have barb barb huts to clean. We need five more era score as well. They achieved the seven tile canal yet? No. There are often goody huts, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna shy away from exploring the snow stuff as well. All right, we do need to get to ship building. See, this is and this is what I said. If you watched my intro um, here on stream, I talked about the the need of of science early on because we need to get to ship building, which is thirty four turns away, and so we have no extra boost to our science other than our citizens, um, and so that is that's something that we're really really behind on. We don't have great campuses to really make up for it, and I need to get to bronze working to chop things. I need to get to animal husbandry because I need tile improvements. Blah 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 blah. blah. So, case in point. Hey, Cordflower. He did. He stopped right in and said hello. That was wonderful. How are you? I really enjoyed watching your stream today. You're a lovely person. And I and I and I hope that all of our followers here go and follow your channel. How did you do the um how do you do the auto the auto shout out? Because that was really cool. I thought that was neat. Alright, finish animal husbandry and we'll see where we're at. You are most welcome, my friend. Most welcome. That looked like a really fun game, too. Was that on Switch? I want to play that sometime. Made your own bot for that? Okay. You can do it with Streamlabs chat bot? All right. I figured. You you mentioned that you're you, you coder? Programmer? Super nerd? Do you do this a lot? No surprise, then. All right, looking for more land. Not much to do with that guy at the moment. All right, so we can policy switch into the settlers. Uh, and Magnus will be here, and I think we'll be able to get to state workforce first. So let's go for... Although I'm about to drop a little bit of production here. Eh, it should be okay. 
Should be okay. I'm gonna keep discipline on to deal with barbarians. Uh, and then let's start getting some settlers going. Software engineer and nerd extraordinaire. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Cornflower. There are there's a goodie hut above my scout. Yeah, I know, but there's a barb camp here, and I saw a slinger garve. So if I try to snipe that, like, it's gonna be bad. Next turn, animal husbandry, and I can finally improve that. I guess none of these are uh, good enough appeal for your for for this now, so I might as well get this Eureka. And then we're of course capped over here. This is the downside of off water settles, but we're working two excellent tiles, um, so that's good enough. Ooh, and we are over on this video. I am going to put a cut in here for now. We finally got a good one going. It took us a long time, YouTube, just so you know. You, you missed out on all the rerolls here on the live stream. It just I very much wanted to force a game where Earth Goddess was going to work. It looked like this was going to be a good enough cap, and uh, and we settled, we've, we've settled on in. So if you're watching over on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, come join us for live stream shenanigans. Don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic and come say hi to us in person on the internet. We'll see you then.